Hi guys, welcome to a new tutorial with me, Eric Ellis. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a peppy border on Photoshop. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so let's just pretend I have this peppy sign over here. So we're going to be making a border for this invisible peppy sign. Okay, first you're going to go to your bucket tool and then make a new layer. And then you're just going to fill the background in. It doesn't even matter because it's going to be covered anyway. So. And then you can go to fill and just change the fill into 0% and then you can see the fill now but you won't see it again so I'm just you're going to right click on that layer then you're going to go to the option and then you're going to go to stroke and you can change the position to inside or outside or center don't put outside inside or center so Change the size to 1 and you're going to change, or you're going to leave the color to black and then you're just going to press it. So now you're going to make a new layer and you can merge it with your layer 1 layer. So pull the shift button while selecting both layers, right click, and then go to the layers. Now on that layer, you're going to right click again and you're going to go to the option and you're going to put the stroke. Change the color to white, so you can't see it because my background at the moment is white, which is probably what I did. So change the color to white, and then press the color. Then you're going to change the, the size to white. And then press OK. So yeah, I'm just going to change the background color to something else. And then you can see there's that white thing in there. So now you're going to make a new layer again, and you're going to make it down with your stroke layer. So both of these layers just move it down. So right click and like that. And then you're gonna right click on that layer again and then go to the options. So you're basically gonna right click the options a lot. So yeah. And then you're gonna go to stroke and then go change the profile to green. And if you have a color scheme it's better to use your, your color scheme. Um, it's better to use the colors of your color screen for the gradient. So yeah, I'm just going to use this here. And then you can change the angle to 90. You don't have to, but it's better, you know. And yeah, you're going to change the size to about 5. And then just press OK. And now you can make a new layer again and merge it down with the old one. So you can right click on that layer and then go to the option. And then you can go to stroke again. So you're basically doing like the same thing. So yeah, just don't like settings and stuff. So this time we're gonna go we're gonna change the fill type of pattern and just choose any pattern that you want to use. So I'm just gonna use this one. And change the size to about two or three. And then just press the and then you're going to make a new layer again and write it down with the big, like, 100 done. Not literally, okay. okay. You can write it on that layer and then you can go to the other option. And then you can go to stroke. You can change the color to white. And change the size to one. And you can also put a pattern overlay only if you want, only if you want to. So it's totally optional. And then you can change the button mode to whatever you think it's best. And then just press it. And then one last time you're gonna make a new layer and merge it down with the old one. And now you can right click on that layer and then go to the motion and then press it. Just leave the color to black and change the size of one. And then just press it. Okay. So yeah, that is pretty much how you make a border. So that is a border. You can, you know, imagine just a paper sign there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thumbs up if it did help you in some way. And make sure to comment if you have anything to say. And subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.